you have to imagine me like 40 years younger and uh, with a full head of hair, sort of st staring smokily into the lens with my foil like this. I thought it would be interesting because at the time headshots were black and white that if I took my sparkly blue eyes and colored them in as sparkly blue. Uh, one of the casting agents at the time ripped my agent a new asshole. That is something I didn't dick with from now on, from then on. I, here's the thing, don't dick with your headshots. I honestly genuinely didn't know what a headshot was and I gave her the four by four Walgreens pictures that you print out instead of the eight by 11s and I gave her pictures from my Instagram. She accepted it though, having to do my own makeup during that time. And I remember him telling me to tone down my makeup. I don't know how I really felt about that, but I was like, tone down my makeup. He said, yeah, less is better. I said, darling, more. I had no idea what the look was going to be and all because in, I just gotten out of college. I had this massive afro, this mustache, and just a, that's what I handed to the first casting agent. And uh, well, it was memorable, but not in the right way. I had a friend of mine uh, take me up on this rooftop that had like a cool kind of backdrop, but then I ended up getting the pictures back and it had bars behind it. It looked like I was taking pr prison pictures, sort of. So yeah, that was my first headshot. She would be happy to know that I used those headshots literally till about three years ago. And I looked like I was 21. And three years ago, I, I, they still didn't work, but I kind of just got new headshots recently. So everything ain't in the headshots. It's really about what's in your head. Thank you.